Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have my uh, encoder up, so I didn't realize uh, when I pressed the key, it kind of looked over. Oh, am I recording? No, I'm not recording. I had to pull it up to make sure I was, and I am. So, anyway, um, hello. Uh, welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and all others. My name is Bujo or Steven, if you prefer. I went ahead and logged out and logged back in so I could get rid of that combat music, which is kind of starting to bug me. And uh, anyway, I went ahead and turned, uh, got our uh, pet going again, as well as our mining, because we are going to start heading down towards the Vale of Andra. And this is basically going to be, I guess, a kind of short one. We'll just do the Andrath quest, and I guess maybe report back to Grimbriar, who is going to send us over over to Buckland, and we'll do. Buckland quests and that should be a bit longer and uh, you know may actually break an hour and a half or whatnot so um, I'm thinking I could probably, probably wrap this up in 30 40 minutes but anyway we're just kind of heading to the south and uh, I believe some of these are going to be level 16 quests so I'm probably going to go ahead and remove uh, the tortoise stone while we do this and we might make level 17 while we're down here and if not we'll definitely make it a buckland but uh, yeah and at level 17 we'll be able to uh, let's bring this up here uh, yeah, we're really close to max and compassion there but we'll be able to um, get that uh, next uh, uh, sl virtue slot unlocked so that will improve our character and I probably passed up a few mines which uh, you know what I was gonna do <sighs> yeah okay I, I was yeah I was gonna do some uh, crafting so that hopefully we could we could go ahead and uh, uh, maybe not mine so much but uh, I guess I have to do it when I head back to Thistleway this time, so I was telling myself I'm going to do that mining when I get back to town, and I did the sell-off, but not the, and I actually even stopped by the, um, the, uh, auctioneer, not the auctioneer, the, uh, vault keeper, sorry, even stopped by the vault keeper, oh well, not a huge deal. heading up here because around here that's uh, we find our scouts kind of hiding away oh. so anyway what do you need uh, Grimbriar finally sent support we've been wondering if you'd forgotten us when we arrived we found a far larger force than anticipated and knew that we cannot desert the post already we have seen these fiends per performing terrible acts we must remain resolute and carry out our duties. Might I take a moment of your time? Okay, so we've got a level 15 quest called Brigands and Half Orcs. Grimbriar was right to send us here, but we figured more support would arrive once he realized we could not su submit reports. Your news of what is happening in the north makes it clear that the brigands are moving in with the caravans they let through. Uh, those unlucky enough to not have the coin to pay for passage are treated without civility, their lives forfeit, and their goods claimed by these vile creatures. Uh, your information confirms what we have feared. The swarthy fellows among their numbers are half-orcs, foul beasts. The time has come to strike back for every life these beasts have claimed. Strike out into the ruins and scourge this enemy clean. 
I will see you paid handsomely. So we got to defeat 20 brigands and half orcs. Uh, one silver and 80 coppers apparently is being paid handsomely by his reckoning. Sharky's lieutenant. Stay a moment. A level 16 quest. There is a leader among these fiends, Sharky's lieutenant in Andrath. I have seen him, a burly fellow, a man, not a half-breed. He makes his lair high in the southwestern ruins and barks out orders to all these fools. He must be dealt with. Perhaps without a leader, the brigands will not recover, buying time for the more for more to join the fight against this Sharky. Got, uh, two silver, 15 um, copper for that. Okay, and watch your Oakdale. Might I take a moment of your time? Level 16 quest called Must Have. Some caravans and drivers have enough coin to press through the block, block, blockade here in Andrath. We have seen this happen a few times. The price they pay is steep and drives the prices of their goods even higher in Breland. Those caravans unwilling or unable to pay the price of the brigands' demands. Well, their, shipment or, so their shipments are claimed by the brigands and practice this practice must cease. I implore you, Hobbit, search the ruins and the enemy within for any of these goods. They are the lifeblood of our homeland, and without this trade, we will begin to see true suffering. So we've got uh, 30 uh, caravan, caravan goods to collect. And once again, the same uh, monetary reward. Can I spit with you a moment? Level 16 quest called Neeker Beaker. Uh, since we made our way to the Vale of Andrath, I have been plagued by terrible dreams and, unaccustomed as I am to the wild, uh, unbearable noises from the nearby swamp. My sleep, when it comes, is fitful at best, and I fear it is days since I last closed my eyes for more than an hour. I wonder, could you do me the favor of clearing out the Beakers who make the swampland to the north and east their home? I would be ever grateful for your help. So we get the same monetary reward for killing 12 Neeker Beakers and Could Southern Fiend. Speak with you a moment. Uh, level 16 quest. Uh, a moment and your lowered voice, if you would. Uh, watch your brittle leaf. Need not hear this, as it would only drive him to do something foolish, I fear. Within the ruins, I have seen another terror. Worse than any leader of men, a leader of these half-breeds. He stands taller than most and is a fearsome sight to behold. Should you run afoul of this fellow, I would advise fleeing towards the hills, but you have the appearance of an adventurous hobbit, so I'll offer you a reward for the defeat of this menace. The half-orc dwells just inside the gate from the south at the deepest depths of their encampment. Okay, so anyway, um, not too impressed with that earring, but we could use those uh, essences. Uh, okay, and uh, the same reward. Okay, so most of, you know, all but one of these is uh, level 16. So with that, let's go ahead and remove our tortoise stone. And um, let's see. I want to go ahead and do Neeker Beaker first. Just because it's kind of away from the rest of them. Because if we look at our map, um, Neeker Beaker yeah, has a nice wide area, but uh, there, 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 and there. See where all those quests are? So just get that one out of the way, and then we'll work on the other four. These red dots are around us are mostly, um, oh, that one's a boar, um, but most of them back there were, uh, would have been brigands.
apparently they have the ability to heal themselves, so... Most of these near the near and in the water are leaker beakers. So. That longbow looks like. Figure it'd be better than Saradin's bow. could uh, go ahead and turn it in but uh, I'd just as soon go ahead and get these other four quests done and we can turn them in all at once and uh, I believe that none of these quests actually uh, have a have uh, continuances except for maybe one to send you back to Grimbriar so um, you know get the quest done head back to where the scouts are turn them in and, and we can uh, Take the milestone back to the Bree Fields, uh, turn them into Groom, Groom Briar, and remember to do our crafting out before we do our, our sell off. So, uh, anyway, I'm surprised that I'd gotten that far without actually having to kill any brigands, but. Um, <laughs> Most, if not all, of these brigands actually have uh, the trade goods on them, so... But you also have crates of them that you can pick up. heading for the high point in the camp because that's where we'll find our lieutenant.
repop so we can recollect them and it's weird that they repop before the mob that was guarding him did but hey we'll take it the half old boss. Okay, so the only thing left is to collect more goods and we just got it, so Nice short and sweet video here, looks like. somebody to the fight that wasn't even there. be of service i will hail the, hail the next caravan finding their way through the gates dispatch any of the brigand fools foolish enough to cross me and speed those goods along to those in need it may not be much but this will surely help to alleviate what's, what must be a growing problem amongst many of the farmers in free land here you earn this how can i be of service Yes, yes, I could hear the sound of the swamp diminish as the Neekers retreated from around the camp. I thank you, friend. Perhaps tonight I will find true rest that will strengthen my resolve and restore my heart. What do you need? 
The terrible acts I witnessed that creature perform will not leave me, but I may find restful sleep again knowing that you have brought this his reign to an end. I have little to offer you, but this is well deserved. Actually, we're getting both reserve board. I didn't have a choice there, so. Cool. All right, so. What do you need? We cannot restore those who were taken, but we can rest knowing that so, some manner of justice has been served. I cannot say that the future of Breland is brighter, but as even now I see the numbers of this enemy swells uh, to restore those purged. Breland is in grave danger from this sharky fellow. What do you need? As I expected, I fear that my companion, Watchdale Oker, Watch, Watcher Oakdale, is right. Bree cannot solve this problem alone. We will need to seek counsel elsewhere. Uh, you do have you have done your service to Breland, Boudreaux. I offer you only what you have earned and what we can spare. Would you do something for me? Okay, so we have a level 16 quest called Informing Grimbriar. My resolve will not falter, but logic bids me act quickly, so I will. I need you to return to Chief Watcher Grimbriar with all haste. Tell him what you have seen here and implore him to see through his hatred of the Rangers. Uh, they may only be they may be the only ally which Breland can rely upon in this dark time. This fortress is lost to us, but Oakdale and I will do what we can to stave the tide from spilling into Breland before the citizens uh, have been prepared. Uh, go now, before these fiends see our location and bring about the end of our res resistance before it is begun. Okay, so we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll take the uh, Athelus since we're a little bit short on that. And, uh, okay, it's almost as good as my two-handed sword right there. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what's more expensive. We'll take the Basher when we get the choice. All right, so we are done here. I'll go ahead and take the milestone. Mount up and got to remember to craft. That's to remember to craft. That's to be more careful. down here so silver mining the silver may be unnecessary but uh, we'll see Riddleleaf and Oakdale are no cowards, but I cannot heed their advice. The rangers are a dangerous and wild lot and do more harm in this land than good. I will not invite them into Breland where they will install themselves as our overlords and soon, as soon as this crisis is ended. No, there must be another way. I have received other news from within the bounds of Breland. Uh, other citizens that need defense from this brigand menace, I would see you aid them before seeking the yoke of the rangers. Well, anyway, we get both of those, and we're going to take the more expensive blade. Stay a moment. And we have a level 17 quest called Along the East Great East Road. I will take the advice of my other watchers under careful consideration. You must understand, however, that the rangers are brutes in their own right and have long been a menace along our borders. Ask those in Trestle Bridge and the farmlands uh, north of the Downs and you will see the same response to the rangers. Not a single one of them can be trusted. 
As I said, there are others within Breland who need assistance and you have proven a valuable ally and more than capable combatant. I would have you visit one of these folks. Adso Hay, Banks is a ho- uh, Adso Hay-, Hay Bank is a hobbit building an inn along the Great East Road stretching between Bree and Buckland. He has sent a message that brigands are stealing his materials and threatening the lives of his workers. If you would, please visit him and see what can be done. I will continue to think uh, on an alternative course of action. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to remove that for now because what we're going to do... Uh, let's see, I wanted to bring up the quest board, actually. Uh, we've got a um, level 15 uh, mainline quest to do, and this will be on the next video. But it will lead us towards Buckland, and we will do Buckland quests before we start doing uh, Adso quests. So, anyway, um, we'll put that quest up and craft before we end the video. Crafting it may actually bring us to level 17, so we'll see. Or since I've got a level 15 quest up, I can maybe remove my stone. Let's or re-equip my stone. Let's do that. Okay, so here's a place I can craft up here. So, uh, ooh, that's a lot. Okay, um, okay, that'll take a, a tiny minute. And, uh, yeah, that'll definitely max me out. So all this silver is kind of um, useless right now. Um, so the chunks of silver ore. We'll go ahead and get rid of. And I'm guessing that this, yeah, should get us maxed. And... With it maxed, we should probably, I don't know, we'll see how much we have left, because when we get to level 18, we'll have a full set we'll need to make, and yeah, there's four ingots for each one, plus we're going to want to get crits as well, so uh, we'll see how much we've got, and we may keep mining for a while, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably have some excess after we finish here, but uh yeah, going to be a two or three minutes before we even start doing our processing, because that's what we're going to do. Nope, nope, nope. We're not doing room keeper chisels. Screw room keepers. Looking at the time, we might as well go ahead and uh, do our Buckland video, I guess. Uh, as soon as I finish this, you know, run down to the kitchen, grab a little quick snack, um, go to the bathroom, come back refreshed, take about a 10 minute break, and then head on back in. Okay, so anyway, let's see. Yeah, that, that mastered us for. Um, Journeyman. As a matter of fact, since we've done that, we can do uh, bulk, can't we? Oh, that's for refining. That's smelting. Smelting bulk. Yeah. That'll save some time. Cool. When it gets down to 25, I'll back out and we'll just do our bulk one. They have a good bit of time. Okay, so, um, 
Actually, I should have should have stopped at 26 because then I, now I'm gonna have to save another. Ah well, gotta do what I gotta do, right? I wasn't thinking. So anyway, um, 26 and 20, well, if I do 25 and 25, that's what, 50 times 8, uh, 400, yeah, that, yeah, okay, so let's like do 24 and 24, so bring us over a little, I guess. Okay, so anyway, we got the title Master uh, Journeyman Prospector, and soon we'll have the title Master Journeyman Metalsmith. fun yet Okay, so, do some math here. I've got, what, six items. So at minimum, it's going to be 24. I think I'm going to have some, you know, it says 24 here, so. Uh, that's the bare minimum I need, so I want at least double that. So we're not through prospecting yet, but, um, let's see. Let's leave the silver mines, uh, the silver nodes alone uh, at least if we don't plan on coming back that way if we do we expect it to repop we'll go ahead and hit it just so that hopefully it repops as a um, as a barrel iron um, sounds like a plan anyway uh, yep here's our title and so we've crafted we've gotten things maxed and uh, yeah 32 okay so we've got 32 ingots um, yeah, I'm going to want at least uh, another 16 just to make sure that we got enough. So, um, yeah, for now, we're still gathering. Okay. So, at least I'm glad I haven't wasted some time on that. But, uh... Good day. How may I help you? Okay, let's see. Looks like all junk. Hold on. I see something that maybe isn't. Um, okay, uh, rear shard is prized by journeyman crafters. Well, I've never, I don't think, ever used one of these things, but um, 
yeah I'll go ahead and save it just in case we do need it um, and uh, can I help you find something friend yes I was supposed to sell this stuff and, and did we're very close to running and getting our house just in case it costs seven gold and 700 silver um, you know I want to make sure that we get there so we're like you know almost 300 short 300 silver short so anyway uh okay so um we are through with this for now uh appreciate you watching i'll see you on the next video bye